It's not too late to knock out some holiday shopping. You might still have some people left on your list, but don't let the last minute rush distract you into falling victim to a scam. Holiday shopping has gotten easy. You don't even have to leave the house, but online shopping does open you up to modern day Grinches, scammers. So high end items that are being sold at a very deep discount rate. Um, you may never receive the item. If that deal of the year is on a website you've never heard of or the site doesn't look legitimate, maybe you notice typos or a web address that's close to a real retailer but slightly altered, then steer clear. Another surefire way to spot a scam, but they don't want you to pay with a credit card. Or you think that you're buying something and the vendor is requesting you pay them in gift cards. So you purchase gift cards and send them photos of the gift cards and that's part of the scam that they're running. Christy Coons Johnson is the special agent in charge of the FBI's Omaha field office. She says in 2019 victims of fraud claimed they were out a total of $500 million. In Nebraska and Iowa that loss was $24 million. And those numbers are just the losses reported to the Internet Crime Complaint Center. Uh, make sure that you are checking your own bank account on a regular basis in the event that something has happened where they're actually gained access and they've been charging or um, actually stealing directly from your bank account or your credit card. The holidays already seem to usher in more spending. You don't want to give your hard-earned cash away for nothing in return. Sit back, take a minute, don't make rash decisions, protect your money, and if it's too good to be true, it is. If you fall victim, you can file a report online. We have information and more advice to protect your money on 3newsnow.com.